Hello and welcome to Siebel Volatility 411. My name is Dan Deming and I'm a KKM Financial. We're looking at a VIX cash coming back to unchanged on the day. Now we did see it lower with the SPX higher. Now the SPX is lower on the session and the VIX cash currently right around 2325. What's interesting today is the fact that we're seeing the futures curve actually shifting lower across the board. All the futures are currently lower here midday, even with the VIX cash flat to up slightly. Highlighted by the fact that we're seeing that front month future down about 65 cents currently to the 2530 level. And we're also seeing the roll market widening between February and March futures out 25 cents to $1.70 today. Looking at the term structure from April out to July, very flat around 27.50. And then we see it taper off slightly, but again, a very flat term structure from the April futures all the way through the summer. Uh, VVIX, measure implied volatility in the VIX options, around 115. That's pretty much unchanged on the day and holding here at this level here. We've seen it pretty much the mean level here for the last couple of weeks. Highlighted today as far as the action in the VIX options are the February 19 puts. 90,000 of those were traded and they were tied to futures, but nonetheless, we did see a big trade in those February 19 puts uh, and the downside there. And also looking at the action in other options chains um, at and out of the money puts in February. Also March though, we continue to see some ratio spreads in March at the at and out of the money puts in the March put complex. I believe it's 23 line and the 21 line are the most active there. Tomorrow, let's fo focus on earnings. Certainly have a lot of earnings either tonight after the close or into tomorrow's session. And then the Fed announcement tomorrow afternoon. I think those would two, be two big drivers of the vol structure as we move into tomorrow's price action.